The new Veranda Resort and Residences will be the latest addition to the Grace Bay Resort's portfolio. The management company behind the celebrated Grace Bay Club, Turks and Caicos, announced during yesterday's press conference that the high-end veranda will be the only five-star hotel in the Turks and Caicos Islands to provide beachfront residences when it opens in fall 2009. The owner came to us and said, I've acquired this resort and I'm going to invest this kind of money into this property to make it a first class resort. And we said, okay, well, we'd love to be involved, but we'd like, you to, we'd like to see certain things done to make sure that it can achieve that level of quality. We wrote down a set of, a list of things and it would, uh, funny enough or ironically enough, they had the same things on their list. So we all saw eye to eye in respect of how the resort could be developed. And we really saw the commitment on behalf of, on the part of the, on the, part of the owner. So once we felt that commitment, we felt that we could actually contribute in a meaningful way. Members of the press toured the resort, which features housing inspired by British Caribbean architecture, two oceanfront restaurants, and a number of amenities. Part owner of the veranda, Ron Sutherland, told News 4 about the motivation behind the project. Well, the, the interesting about this project was that it has an absolutely fantastic location. The exterior and interior architecture was fabulous, but it needed a lot of additional refinements and it needed a lot of additional capital uh, in areas that most people would not recognize, but were necessary in order for this resort to you know, compete at the luxury level. Executive Chairman of the Tourist Board, the Honorable Wayne Garland, was also in attendance at the press conference and expressed his gratitude for the project. With the problems that we had over the years with this particular property, it's, it's, it's really great. I mean, it's a breath of fresh air to see that this property has emerged and it's turning out to what it is. I mean, we truly got to thank the new developers for really having, you know, the, the, the confidence in Turks and Caicos as a destination to persevere through these tough times and really to force their head and do the work that they did. So on behalf of the government and the people of Turks and Caicos Islands, we truly owe them a, a, a debt of gratitude. You know, thanks to them very much. Nikhil Advani, Chief Operating Officer of Grace Bay Resort, stated in a press release, Once a guest steps foot on this property, they will recognize the familiar fingerprint of our impeccable service and personalized standards that have come to define the Grace Bay Resort's experience. For WIV4 News, I'm Allison Capron.